Hi, this is Dr. Wooten. In the first video, we covered how to install R and R Studio in addition to installing packages. Then we switched temporarily to Excel to enable you to start your project. Now, let's switch our attention back to R. We will start with documentation. Documentation consists of comments written to help keep your code organized and clean. A comment is indicated by a hashtag placed at the beginning of the comment line. In the class notes, I introduced the primary operators. Now let's apply them. Before you on my screen is the R Studio GUI. If you need help using this software, you can always ask me or use R's built-in help system. Help.start is a function that takes no input. The parentheses indicate that when this command is run, R is to call the function help.start. Upon executing this command line, the function help.start opens the help GUI that contains the R manual. If you need help with a specific function, then use help with the name of the function as the input string. For example, when the command line help summary is run, R presents the section of the manual for this function. Note the function can take several different input types the various forms of the function are referred to as constructs. A construct is a class of functional code that can take various types of input with built-in defaults for any parameter that is not included in the input set. Consider the function library. With no input parameters, this function returns the list of packages installed in your user library. With a single string input, by default, this input string is taken to be the library name and opens the library, making all the subfunctions it contains available in the current environment. When this single string is specified to be a request for help, the details on the R library package is displayed. 